I-STEP testing is on hold indefinitely for several area school corporations. It's all because of computer problems. News 18 Superintendent reports local superintendents say suspending the testing was the right move for the students. Brittany, when is ISEP testing expected to resume? Dan, no one seems to know. It could be as early as tomorrow morning when the system is back up and running, or it could take a lot longer. The problem today was that several students were getting kicked off the online testing and had to keep logging back on. Both superintendents from Tippecanoe School Corporation and West Lafayette Community School Corporation told me enough was enough. They suspended the online testing. Both corporations have been in contact with the Department of Education all day. The DOE told both superintendents they've been notified that the testing vendor, CTB by McGraw-Hill, is working on the problem. West Lafayette Superintendent Rocky Killian says the state has paid the company $95 million to administer the test for, to students in grades 3 through 8. Both Killian and TSC Superintendent Scott Hamback were unavailable for on-camera interviews this evening, but said it was best for the students if the online testing was put on hold. Killian says for $95 million, there shouldn't be problems like this during such high-stake testing. There are other ways that we can do this without spending $95 million of taxpayer money to determine whether or not students are learning and teachers are teaching. In fact, our, our kids in their testing. They need a, a, a quiet and a calm testing environment. They need, a, you know, the online communication capabilities that they can test in an uninterrupted uh, manner, and that's just not being delivered right now. Both superintendents say it's a statewide issue. Handback says one elementary school at LSC was testing today, but we weren't able to get in touch with Superintendent Les Huddle this evening. Both Killian and Handback hope testing can resume as soon as possible because of scheduling. Handback says the corporation should hear back from the DOE early tomorrow morning, but he's not sure if testing will be able to resume then. Brittany Tyner, News 18.